Titan football. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. So first and 10 now from the 30. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing. Just chucked it free. Yeah, live to fight another down, right? Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby McCain. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Extra point up and good by Folk, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic Oath, first do no. Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety Cam Chancellor. And the Chargers will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and 10 at the 45. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They'll try the left side. Parsons. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. Complete, so it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football, but you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away, and it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. On second and 11 now, Jackson steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going. 
On third down, Jackson. Dancing to his left. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, we heard all week that they were going to put the football in the air a lot. The problem is that is now four interceptions, Charles, that he has thrown in this first half. How do you treat a situation? What do you say to your quarterback right now? Boy, that's an interesting question because a lot of it depends on the head coach and the people making the decisions. You have to know your quarterback and know if he's mentally tough enough to have a chance to turn it around. Or is he a guy that maybe you've seen enough and it's time to go to the backup? But right now, what you're rooting for is your defense to help keep you in the game, to give him an opportunity to get back on track. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Down to the 25. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. I do know that owners, when they watch their quarterbacks running with the football, they usually hold their breath because that's the franchise. But when you're getting that kind of a game, hard to argue against calling it. On first down, it's Parsons. And they'll get him down right about the 20. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it, Brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. On second down, it's Parsons, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Taking it in from two yards out, and the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. Folk connects on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Give them seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Jackson. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. The credit that sack to Robert Quinn. 
But when you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll keep it on the ground again here. Running right through him. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. But from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Chargers. The people still trying to get back to their seats from the concession stand here at the start of the third quarter, and boom, we got points on the board. And you just identified why the bulk of stadiums have increased presence in the concession areas, right? TVs, loudspeakers, so people can still follow the game. And right now, they're bummed out that they missed that big return to start this half. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means... And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Now Sanders. Run past the 30 yard line there. Seven yards on the carry, make it third and four coming up. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson buying time to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gap 